It's a year-long project. Tim and Kayla, our two adults, are both participating in it. Hazina is not quite old enough. She's sort of still in training. She's giving her back stretches. We have lots of crews back here working together to get as much information on rhinos as we can. So our adult rhinos at the Fresno Chaffee Zoo are participating in the AIRS project. We are lucky enough we get to partner with Dr. Parker Pennington. She's from the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Gardens. Here, Jimmy Jim. This bracelet looks good. The AIRS project is the American Institute of Rhinoceros Sciences, and it's a collaborative project investigating rhino physiology from a variety of perspectives. Yay, I don't have to weigh anything back or do any more math. <laughs> How eager you are to work with Parker. So part of this project was collecting heart rate data on the rhinos. Got his belly real quick, let him roll here. It's made for horses, so it's meant to sort of wrap around the side of the chest and get a heart rate that way. It's been difficult to get on the white rhinos, I think, just because they're so big. The science has proven to be a lot harder than you would think. Those are our muscles. Oh my god. <laughs> Once a month, we're collecting blood just to see how they change over time with the different seasons, um, how different things affect the rhinos. Um, the easiest spot is really their front legs. They have nice big vessels that run down their front legs and when they stand there and they're busy eating, they've got that nice thick skin, they've got great big vessels. A lot of times they don't even look at you, they don't even stop chewing. We quickly figured out every time we were working with Kayla, her year and a half old calf, Hazina, did not like that mom was getting attention and that she was in the barn by herself and she didn't know what was going on. If she was not part of it, she was in the barn making all kinds of noises and throwing her toys around. She's basically trying to get attention is what she was. So we had to bring her out as well. And here she goes. Hi. And as long as she was out and could see all the people and she was getting attention as well, then she was nice and quiet and she was calm and she stayed out of the way. Yeah, I think you're good now. It's interesting how different both Tim and Kayla are. Tim, he's he's not very reactionary. Kayla, on the other hand, though, is very curious of what goes on. Yeah. You're not gonna run around the bone while wearing it today. Maybe. Maybe. We're okay. Maybe. Um, but she has to check out every individual person. She's a little more standoffish at first. She has to kind of approach and come over. It's not so much about the food, it's about her comfort level. So just working with the two of them has been very different. We got our summer projects, all the data all collected, and so Parker will be back out in the winter and we'll collect more data and see how it's different than how they were six months ago. And that's exciting. It has been such a collaboration. It's re-inspired all of us who want to help rhinos. This is really a foundation to know what the next steps of the science are and what the next questions are.